This is Brock Rell with Modus Labs going through what we call the robotic arm stand. And so the robotic arm stand is mimicking a robotic arm. So what we have is on the front side, we're looking at a very high-end servo, has a lot of counts, encoder counts. We can see what's going on in torque. We can see position. We make sure that we're doing a standard robotic move. And that's going to couple into the gearbox. So this is our ML2000 right now, but we have other sizes, other options that can go here. And then we attach it to this arm, which has a specific amount of inertia, a specific amount of gravity, which helps us in terms of maxing out our torque. And it also has a specific distance away from the gearbox, which allows us to load the output of the gearbox. So we're mimicking an output load on our cross roller bearing. We're mimicking a gravity torque for acceleration and deceleration, which gives us our peak spikes. And we're also mimicking a large inertia load, which gives us a good average torque. So right now, this specific setup is running at 45 Newton meters on average, going across zeros and going all the way up to 75 Newton meters peak, which is our rating. And we can change this for a larger size or for a smaller size. And what's nice is we can run this roughly a quarter of our total life. So it's an accelerated life by hitting these peaks, by not dwelling for long periods of time and letting the unit stay hot. And so in a shorter amount of time, we can determine if there's going to be a bearing issue, if there's going to be a wear issue on the teeth, uh, if we're going to see something break, something fatigue faster than we expected. Uh, this test allows us to do that a little faster than a standard life test.